Okay, joining me on the phone now is Sidney Powell, attorney from Michael Flynn. We're going to start rolling on the FBI text messages that were revealed. Sidney, okay, I want to ask you this. What exactly was President Obama and the Obama administration doing to put such pressure on FBI agents and analysts that they said they were glad to close the, the Flynn case on the day Trump was elected, but then there was pressure to keep it open that they, they felt that they had to personally buy insurance because they thought they were going to be sued because of the misconduct going on at the FBI. What was President Obama and the, Biden, and the Obama administration doing here? Well, obviously they were exerting significant pressure on Comey and McCabe to keep the investigation going, apparently, particularly through Comey's meeting with uh, Biden and Obama and Susan Rice and Sally Yates on January 5th. And apparently for a few days before, either by phone or some kind of other meeting that I think is reflected in Strzok's notes that were given to us a few weeks ago, indicating that Obama said he wanted the right people put on it and the investigation to continue. And Biden mentioned the Logan Act. Um, I think there was a meeting before the 5th, or at least a conversation before the 5th, that included that information. You know, are you going to take this to the Supreme Court? If we have to. I'm hoping Judge Sullivan gets it right and uh, salvages what's left of his reputation because he's, he was the hero of my book, License to Lie, only to be a major disappointment when the Brady issues arose in a different context involving a, a Republican that was uh, in a Republican attorney general. Stevens, of course, was asked to be dismissed by Eric Holder, but uh, that wasn't what happened yeah. in this case. The FBI text messages talk about how the Flynn probe was based on, quote, conspiracy theories, theories was a nightmare, uh, that basically, the, the, you know, the, if this becomes public, there's going to be tough questions if this gets what's happening behind the FBI, behind the scenes there, if it comes out through Freedom of Information Act's uh, requests. What happened with these FBI text messages revealing serious abuses of power going on behind the scenes at the FBI. Sydney, you know, there was also talk of just, you know, just keeping it open by going after General Michael Flynn's financial records through the use of, use of national security letters. That sort of circumvents subpoenas. In other words, do that, keep it, keep it hidden from Michael Flynn. These are major abuses of power. How do you, how do you hold the guys who are doing this accountable? Well, the ones that were trying to make up a crime against him certainly should be uh, prosecuted for obstruction of justice. The abuse of power that went into the extended investigation and the harassment of him and his son are both violations of Section 242, I think, uh, abuse of power involving his civil rights. And those are at least misdemeanor offenses that should be prosecuted, especially in this circumstance. Lawyers should at a minimum lose their law licenses, and those who knew exactly what they were doing and working so hard to do it here should be prosecuted for their conspiracies and falsification of documents and everything else. You know, it, we just were showing text messages indicating that the FBI analysts talking uh, about what was going on in the Flynn case behind the scenes indicated that they felt White House senior officials were the ones leaking to the media. Uh, so that's part of the story, too, right, about media leaks uh, uh, coming out of James Comey has already admitted that, and also now White House senior officials. Your reaction to that in order to keep the Flynn and the Trump Russia probe going when there was no case sure. there? Sure. Yes, we know now that the FBI itself leaked information at different times to put articles in the media that they could then use to justify whatever they wanted to do. And, and special counsel did the same thing. I think more evidence at some point will come out about that, too. Um, of course, you know, right after Flynn was entered his first guilty plea, the evidence exploded in the press that uh, all the text messages between Strzok and Page indicated their affair and their hatred of, of President Trump. But uh, that was man they managed to suppress that until right after the guilty plea. It just feels like when you put it all together, this was a top-down effort 
just to get, you know, President Trump and Michael Flynn. When you look at it in toto, you know, everything, we've been covering it since 2017. FBI agents talking about, you know, behind the scenes, people here are scrambling for information to support their theories. It's a madhouse. Uh, you know, things like Andrew McCabe was supposed to, thought to be the, quote, worst offender of rabbit hole thinking and conspiracy theories about this. So, you know, when you put it all together, it just feels like a real push to, you know, to bring down and block President Trump from being elected on the part of the Obama administration. That's what I think that's what people want to know. How much was President Obama's fingerprints on this? His fingerprints are all over it. There's the reference in the new text messages about how his briefing went on January 5th. So it was a full fledged briefing. And of course, we have a Susan Rice's memo on it and a James Comey's memo on it. There's a lot of information about that, and now we know that there are other people who need to be asked about it as well. And Mr. Barnett, the uh, FBI agent whose 302 is included in the government's filing last night, says it was a top-down operation. He's absolutely clear about that. Yeah, and he threatened to quit over it, um, you know, so we'll be staying on the story. Sydney, we always love having you on. Um, we really appreciate your insights and perspectives and going through us. And we'll be staying on the, the General Michael Flynn case as well. Sydney Powell, thanks again. Thank you. So